What's up, people? It's been two years since the security services opened fire on protesters in Lekki, Lagos in 2020. This is it. Bullets. These are evidences that people were shot. Earlier, I sent, we saw some pictures that we sent in of someone who was shot on the tie. And I can't believe that the police still showed up, throwing tear gas at protesters and harassing people at the same venue two years after just because they are marking the memorial. And of course, they arrested people. My people, can you see what's happening? See that? Live from Lekki, it's not over fam. Wow. Now while the police are doing this, it's heartbreaking that there are still people, regular Nigerians, who still say that nobody was killed at Lekki Gate. I mean, MC Uluamo recently said that during his march for Tinubu. I'm so glad that Sarah Ibrahim shared pictures and videos of some of the victims learning to walk again with prosthesis. Please follow her on Twitter. Now, the panel that was set up by the government two years ago confirmed that people were shot. The state funded that panel to the tune of hundreds of millions of naira, financed that panel to make sure that the truth comes out, and now we have it. People were murdered, and apart from the murder, it was just the way that we were all just collectively gaslighted, and we were told it was all lies. We were told all kinds of stories about, oh, they shot in the air. And they said at that time that it was only 48 casualties and that only 11 were killed. Although we know that it's way more than that, but whether it was one or two, two years after, <laughs> no justice was served. They must be brought to justice. It's a must. We must stop the culture of impunity and state terrorism. Because the government has been openly saying uh, nothing, nothing happened. They have secretly paid these victims. I heard about 3.2 million. This lucky memorial, to me, is an opportunity for anybody that wants to be the president of Nigeria to identify not just with young people, but with Nigerians in general. I was really expecting Tinubu to say something. Did he? I mean, if nobody else says anything among all the candidates, he should. He's a Lagosian. He was a former governor of Lagos. He's been a godfather of Lagos for so long. It happened in Lagos. Even Atiku, Atiku said something. He released a tweet. He said, two years ago on this day, I shared a statement of sincere disappointment, anger, condemnation, and pain. Two years after, that position has not changed. The sad memory of what happened is what we cannot wish away. At least he said something. Peter Obi was visiting families that have been affected by the flood, but he still tweeted that today we mourn our brothers and sisters whose lives were cut short during the SARS protest. They died fighting for a better nation. Their cries for justice and good governance remain in our hearts. Their supreme sacrifices and our labors will never be in vain. Omayeli Shore did not just say something online about it. He actually went there to be part of the two-year memorial. The saddest part is, according to Amnesty International, at least 40 protesters are still in prison two years after this happened. I was so happy to see this woman. Her son was jailed at the time, and she was able to fight for justice. I'm so happy to see her come out for the two-year memorial to remind the government that we would not be silenced. Am I too late? We're not being late. What do you have to say about the 20, uh, 20 shooting? Yeah, in they can't kill our children and say that we should not mark the memorial. Mama, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? I was 60 in July. We are tired of the people that killed our children. No matter who their flag they are is. We are tired of the people that killed our children. But guess what? Nobody is surprised that the president still did not say anything about what happened at Lekki. But you know, shout out to the celebrities that speak out about what's happening in Nigeria. Honestly, we really appreciate you. Considering all the celebrities we have in Nigeria, it's, it's hard searching to see those who identify with the people, those who speak out about what's happening in the country. Huge shout out to Faz, huge shout out to Mr. Macaroni, and so many other celebrities that tweeted about what happened and made posts about what happened. Thank you so much, we appreciate you guys. Now, if you have not seen the documentary on the NSAS movement by today, please and please, whatever you do this weekend, please make sure that you watch it. The link will be in the description below. I'm not sure why they are saying that it's only streaming for five days, Mr. Chude Abeg, for God's sake, let this thing remain on YouTube. It's quite eye-opening about all the atrocities being committed by law enforcement officers. I mean, if you watch that documentary, you would 
literally be moved to tears. Thank you so much for doing that documentary. Also, I've told you guys about that movie, Collusion Cause. If you're yet to watch it, it's playing on Netflix. Please and please watch it so you have a better understanding of what this whole NSAS movement is about. Once again, for those who lost their lives, we would not forget. Our deepest condolences to their family members. May their souls continue to rest in peace. You guys know I don't know much. Guess what? I'm just giving a room. <laughs>